Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to name a line segment. And remember, a line segment has two endpoints. Now, when we name a line segment, we use the two endpoints. For example, in number one, our two endpoints, point M and point N. So to name this line segment, we write our two endpoints, M and N. And remember, when working with points, we use capital letters to name them, so we need capitals here. And then we use the line segment symbol above the endpoints. Notice that we don't have any arrows on this symbol. This shows us that the line segment stops at point M and stops at point N. So we have endpoints. And that's the name of this line segment, line segment MN. Now, when it comes to naming a line segment, order does not matter as far as the endpoints. So we can also write this as line segment N M. Either way will work. So line segment M N or line segment N M. Let's move on to number two, where we need to name two line segments. Now here, we have a handful of different options. We just need to decide what we want our endpoints to be. For example, let's use W and Y first. So we have an endpoint here and an endpoint here. So we can name this line segment, line segment W, Y, or we can name this line segment Y, W. Now, as far as our second line segment, we just need to pick two endpoints and then go from there as far as naming that line segment. So we can use W and X, we can use X and Y, or we can use X and Z. So again, we just need to pick two endpoints and then name the line segment based on those endpoints. Let's use X and Z. So we have line segment X, Z, or we can say line segment Z, X. So for number two, our two line segments, line segment W, Y, or line segment Y, W, and then line segment X, Z, or line segment Z, X. And just to be clear, as far as number two, there were more than two line segments that we could have named. So there you have it. There's how to name a line segment. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.